If you're getting a message like this in your Google Drive or Gmail or Google Photos or anywhere else like that, saying you're running out of your free 15 gigabytes of storage, there are some things you can do like deleting things you don't need or compressing your photos in Google Photos to make them all smaller or maybe downloading some files from Google Drive or Google Photos or something to an external hard drive or something so that you're not keeping those files on the cloud. But ultimately, the easiest and often best solution is going to be to just pay for more storage that gets shared across Google Drive and Google Photos, and Gmail, and really everything Google. A lot of people might be a bit reluctant to do this, having to pay for another subscription, but you can get significantly more storage for really not much money, and it does just make the entire problem go away with just a few clicks. To upgrade your storage, if you are currently running out of storage, you will likely have messages in quite a lot of your Google apps or websites like Google Drive or Google Docs or the Google Drive app on your phone and others like that with a button to tap or click and upgrade straight away. And you can click that or you will always find similar buttons in Google Drive like this one here or in Gmail or similar buttons once again in the Google Drive app and Google Photos app and things like that. And you can click or tap any of these, but they will actually take you to slightly different options depending on which button you tapped on. So for this demonstration, to keep everything the same, Timmy's going to go to one.google.com, that's O-N-E dot Google dot com. And when you pay for Google Storage to upgrade it, it's technically called a Google One membership. So this is kind of Google One where you can manage all your storage and everything. And even if you don't have a membership, you can see how much storage you're using and everything in here. And once you're in here at one.google.com, you will need to sign into your Google account, obviously, if you haven't already. But you'll need to click on storage in this left hand menu here. Or if you're doing this on the website on your phone, you'll tap the menu button in the top left hand corner and then tap storage in that menu that appears. But it's basically the same thing. And now you'll see a breakdown here of everything you're currently using your storage for. And up the top here, we have a button to get more storage. So you could look through this a bit if you want, but ultimately, if you decide you want to get more storage, you'll need to go ahead and click or tap get more storage here. And now it'll show you all the different plans that you can choose from to upgrade your storage. So we can see here, if you currently aren't paying anything and you just have a free account, your current plan will be the 15 gigabyte account for $0 a month, obviously. So that means you have 15 gigabytes of storage to use across all the Google apps. And then if you scroll down to the paid options, the cheapest, most basic plan, which to me would probably recommend, gives you 100 gigabytes. So that's 100 gigabytes compared to 15 gigabytes. So you really do get way more storage just by paying a little bit a month. And the exact price will vary depending on where you are in the world and your currency and everything. But you see the price here. This is for the first month. Sometimes it's free, sometimes it's really cheap. What the price you wanna look at is actually this because that's what it will actually cost you for every month after that when you're actually paying the subscription. So that's really what you wanna look at there. That's the price, but that will really be very cheap. And this is the basic 100 gigabyte plan. To me, I would recommend most people just go to the basic 100 gigabyte plan. If you only had 15 gigabytes now, 100 is going to be a huge amount of space to you. It'll take you a very long time to fill that up. Eventually, some people might end up needing something like the two terabyte plan. So a terabyte is a thousand gigabytes. So this is 2000 gigabytes compared to 100 gigabytes or the 15 gigabytes that you have for free. So this gets you way more storage 
and some people might end up needing this, but if you're currently on the 15 gigabyte plan, it's probably going to be at least a while before you need two terabytes. So to me, I'd probably recommend almost everyone get the 100 gigabyte basic plan first, and then maybe at some point, six months, a year down the track, you might end up wanting to go with the two terabyte plan. There is also a 200 gigabyte plan, but for some reason they don't show that to you until you already have the 100 gigabyte plan. So you have to get the 100 gigabyte plan first, and then you can upgrade to 200 gigabytes if you need it, but that is also an option. Or it will actually also give you the option to upgrade even further to a 5, 10, 20, or even 30 terabyte plan. So that's 30,000 gigabytes compared to 15. Most people will probably absolutely never need something like a 30 terabyte plan. That's ridiculously huge. But if you do end up with so much huge files on there at some point. If you do need that much storage, you do have the option to get that. But the prices do get quite high once you're looking at that much storage. The premium plan also gives you Google Workspace premium features like this. Timmy's never used any of these, but maybe something here might be useful to some people. And if you want, you can also upgrade to the Google AI Pro, which gives you the same amount of storage as the premium, but it has a whole lot of extra Google AI features and stuff. Timmy's never really tried that or looked into any of that, but if any of that sounds good to you, maybe you'd want to consider this plan. It is quite expensive though, and it actually doesn't give you any more storage than this one does. So most people are probably just gonna want either the basic or the premium if you really need a lot of storage right away. And you can also switch it to annual. So this is the monthly pricing. If you switch it to annual, you can save up to 29%, but you pay upfront for a year and you are kind of stuck with it for a full year. So for most people, this is probably going to make sense. If you can afford it upfront, you will save a bit of money, but just keep in mind if you think maybe in six months time, you're gonna need more storage or something, or you might wanna cancel it or something, it is a bit less flexible. So you have to keep that in mind, but switching to annual can probably be a good idea for a lot of people. But once you've chosen whichever plan you want to go with, you'll just go ahead and click this button here. It should really say get plan or something. It says get discount because the first three months are going to be discounted in this case. They do different deals and things. Sometimes you get a free month, free trial. It might say start free trial or something, but really just click whatever this button is here that you have at the time. If you wanna get the basic 100 gigabyte plan. So we'll go ahead and click this. And it's saying we could do it annually if we want to for this price. For the demonstration, Timmy's just going to do it monthly because this is a demo account and Timmy will probably cancel it pretty soon. But if you do want it annually, you could switch it to annually. And we'll go ahead and click continue. And we'll agree to the terms of service. And we do need to add a payment method. If you already have a payment method linked to your account, this should just happen easily. But if you don't, you can add a card or PayPal or something. So to me, will quickly do that. And now it's just going to give you details about the subscription. So we have 100 gigabytes Google One, which is the Google storage subscription and upcoming charges. In this case, we've got the first three months for a discounted rate. It's just some kind of deal they have right now. And then after that, it will be the normal price, whatever that is in your area. And once again, you might have a slightly different deal depending on when you're doing this and things, but really you'll just need to go ahead and click subscribe down here. And now it says we're subscribed. So now you will have more Google storage and you might need to wait a little bit. It might take even quite a few hours for everything to update everywhere and the system to fully understand you have more storage, but you should receive an email or several emails from them welcoming you to Google One. 
And if you refresh Google Drive or something, you should now see that you have 100 gigabytes of storage. And it'll tell you about AI things now. But now you just have more Google storage. So you can store more stuff on Google Drive or Gmail or Google Photos. You can really just keep going doing exactly what you normally do with all your Google apps, and you won't run into any storage issues until you fill up the 100 gigabytes. But that will probably take a very long time. But that's all there is to it. You will now have 100 or 2,000 gigabytes of Google storage that you can use for Google Drive, Google Photos, Gmail, and anything else like that. And now that you have all this storage, you can actually share your storage with up to five accounts. So if you have maybe a second Google account that also needs more storage, or a friend or family member or something who's running out of storage on their account, you can actually share your 100 or 2,000 gigabytes of storage with them. To me, I'll show you how all that's done in a future video, but that's it for this one. So hopefully you found it helpful and we might see you in another one in the future.